tree here and tie it off and I'm gonna head up that way. And I'm going up to look for another LiDAR anomaly and already there's a nice um, beaver, beaver chewed tree. He really uh, cuts it into nice even cordwood length pieces. So I'm gonna head up that way and take a look at this LiDAR anomaly. It's possibly nothing, it was just, it kind of looked like a, sm a very small mound, but hey, you have to check out every one of these, so. And just prior, I was up north in New Milford in the boat, checking out a quartz mine, and I found a nice open cut right on the side of the, the river up top, which is great, okay, I, I found that, but then when I was down in the boat going back, on the other side of the open cut, I found what looked like possibly an adit, but there was nowhere to dock the boat to get to it. So I'd have to, on, on another day, go around and find a spot, dock the boat, and then come down from the top, maybe with rope, because um, it is kind of, it looks like a steep and slippery spot. So I'm out uh, looking for LiDAR anomalies by boat today, which is one of my new favorite things to do because it gets me out to these very remote places um, that aren't really accessible by road or maybe too far to bushwhack. And I came out to my last anomaly of the day and I was um, kind of disappointed when I got out here because I didn't see anything that could, could be man-made and I thought maybe I misinterpreted this rock, which I, every time I misinterpret something, I just feel so let down. But I came around to the side here and I'm like, tailings? That's, this is probably what I saw, but this isn't a mine. This is somebody was like amateur excavating this rock shelter here. This, um, whoa, quartz. Oh my God, this must be, this must have been a Native American rock shelter. Oh, there's lots of quartz. And someone, was excavating it. You could see the screen for for sifting through the the dirt to find artifacts and there's some stacked up rock right there. And this must be a Native American site because there's tons of quartz that they would have used to nap into projectile points. And look at this, the screen is still here. Look, it doesn't look like anyone's been here for a really long time, but they were down here excavating this little cave. How far does it go? So I can see why they were excavating it. It keeps going. I mean, it's small, but there's definitely a filled in passageway right there that they were digging out. And this is as far as they got. I mean, that definitely keeps going. So this is definitely one of my most unusual finds using LiDAR. I mean, this swath of woods is a very remote part of Fairfield County. In fact, one time I, cal I calculated what is the most remote part uh, point in Fairfield County, and it was out in these woods. And by using the boat, obviously, it makes it a lot easier to get out here. But you could look at this terrain is extremely rugged. Almost any of these boulders or rock outcrops could be mistaken for something. Yet in this entire swath of, of land, I was able to pinpoint this little pile of dugout rock and dirt that was an excavation of this cave. It's incredible what LiDAR can do. I mean, this is, this is pretty old. I mean, I'm gonna say maybe 20 years ago, the handle is completely rotted away on this shovel. The sifter is, the perimeter of the sifter is completely rotted away, just the screen is there. Um, but I can see why the Native Americans would have picked this location because it overlooks the Housatonic River, which is now um, Lake Lilanona. So this would have been a, a, a pretty practical spot to make a camp and this rock overhang is, is actually kind of cozy. So I wonder if there's ever going to be plans to excavate, excavate further and see where this passageway goes. 
I mean, I would almost say it might be worth digging out a little bit of this dirt and just seeing what's around the next bend. It's a talus cave, so it's probably not deep, but who knows what might be in there. It definitely is a site where quartz was napped into projectile points because you could see there's quartz littering the ground. And I can only imagine what kind of artifacts were removed from this cave. All right, so I'm back in the boat here and uh, another new update is that I now have a 12 horsepower motor and uh, instead of the six that I had before. So this motor can um, plane much um, better than the other one. This one can do 20 miles an hour instead of 13 miles an hour and I'm still breaking it in, but this is a big improvement and it's going to make a, it's going to be a game changer for going out and finding these sites. So. Um, I'm going to fire it up and um, that's it for today, but I'll be certainly checking out more LiDAR anomalies. Stay tuned for more In Search of LiDAR Anomalies Boating Edition, with now with 12 horsepower.